Now, a top South African judge has asked prosecutors to consider criminal charges against the ANC government for ignoring a high court order not to allow Sudan's president to leave the country last week. Omar al-Bashir was attending an African Union summit in Johannesburg when he slipped out of South Africa before he could be arrested. He's wanted in The Hague on charges of war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide with regards to the Darfur conflict. Well, we spoke to Tula Sizwe Simalini, uh, the senior political correspondent for the ENCA TV news channel in Johannesburg. The judgment uh, that was handed down um, last week when Omar al-Bashir was here in South Africa and the High Court had ruled that he cannot leave South Africa uh, until the matter regarding um, South Africa's obligations to arrest him uh, in terms of the International Criminal Court's founding statute, their own statute, is concerned, according to the judge president of the Gauteng province um, here in South Africa, Dunstan Mlambo. That was completely ignored by government. The judge went on to say that it's actually a threat to South Africa's constitutional democracy, saying that democracy is underpinned by the rule of law. And if a government or an, an agency of government or government law, officials simply disregard court rulings, the, the judge saying that it's a threat that could erode the country's democracy. So it is a really significant judgment in that sense, because already immediately after Omar al-Bashir left South Africa, the debate immediately started here in South Africa as to um, what does it mean that government knew that they were supposed to keep Omar al-Bashir in South Africa, yet, as far as we understand, he was escorted by uh, the South African Police Service from the Sentin Convention Center, where the AU summit was taking place, to Vatelkrop Air Base, a, a exit point that had been notified of the court ruling that he should not leave South Africa, yet he was able to do so and actually assisted by state agents. So it's a very significant moment, uh, and South Africans are reflecting on the meaning of all of this to the country's constitutional democracy. But at the same time, there's a new debate about South Africa's continued role within the International Criminal Court, the governing party, the ANC, uh, coming out strongly to say that the International Criminal Court is no longer useful for the purposes for which it was uh, established. In fact, the latest statement from them says the government uh, that they lead should actually consider temporarily suspending South Africa's participation in the ICC. Now, there's a whole debate as to whether uh, that's, that's even provided for in terms of the Rome, Rome statute. But at the, at the moment, that is the direction in which the government of Jacob Zuma is leaning.